Uh, Russell Westbrook, his partner in crime, Katie's partner in crime, is recovering from a third knee surgery he had in December. Procedure on his right knee to address the swelling. Westbrook expected to return after the All-Star break. We will be there. So let's discuss uh, the dynamics of Westbrook and KD. Uh, Stephen A., you were taking us here. Those two together, anybody can stop them. Are they the best in the West when he comes? I think they would be. I think if Kevin Durant continues to play this way, and Russell Westbrook is still Russell Westbrook, but 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 complimentary. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anybody that could beat him. I think that Russell Westbrook, when you look at the San Antonio Spurs, for example, or the Clippers, because I love me some CP3, the bottom line is your worst nightmare is Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. Because Russell Westbrook's athleticism, he's the most athletic point guard in NBA history. Him and Derrick Rose, and I'm really sad that Derrick Rose's knees yeah. are messed up because, boy, would it be different in the East if he were healthy. Yeah. But <clears throat> Russell Westbrook and him are the two most athletic point guards in NBA history. Russell Westbrook is unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Tony Parker cannot stop Russell Westbrook. Chris Paul cannot stop Russell Westbrook. And they're great players, and they cannot stop Russell Westbrook. He is that lethal. So if he comes back, he has to make sure that he doesn't take away, and Kevin Durant has to make sure he doesn't allow him to take away from the onslaught mm -hmm. that Kevin Durant is putting forth yep. on the court. But if somehow, some way, Kevin Durant is still able to be who he is, mm -hmm. and Russell Westbrook is who we know him to be, there's nobody in the West that's beating them. Mm -hmm. And in the Eastern Conference, I don't want to sleep on Indiana because the way they play defense collectively, as great as Russell Westbrook is, part of it is his athleticism, his ability to get to the hole at will. But if you get to the hole at will, mm -hmm. and you got the seven foot two Roy Hibbert waiting mm -hmm. for you, and you got the six ten muscle bound, so you're, David you're already West. going to the finals. I'm, I'm who in terms of Western. No, oh, the, yeah, finals. The, the Oklahoma about. City. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely believe that Oklahoma City will go to the finals, the finals if, really? if, if Kevin Durant and, and Russell and West play Indiana. Are, are, are play are, are healthy wow. and play the way that they're playing. Wow, this that is would leaping be, to not, conclusions. Not, not, oh, yes, it is. Wow. But, but I don't so think yes, it's that. I don't think it's that big of a leap when we see what they are capable of doing. And so for me, whether it's Indiana collectively defensively because of their size at every position yeah. and they can right. defend, they can neutralize somebody, or. LeBron, I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch of LeBron versus this Kevin Durant. Okay. Because this Kevin Durant in an NBA Finals against LeBron it would, be would be epic, to say the least. I just don't know if that's going to be the case yet. So I should go book my flights yes, right now. you should. I promise that I didn't know. Indy, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Indy. City, period. No. Except this I, is 2-2-1-1-1, right? Not, so I I'm not book. saying it definitively, but it's okay. a very good chance. I bet you, I tell you right now, right now, if you ask people and they bet their money, they would bet their money. I would agree. On that series. I would agree. else. Okay. Before Russell Westbrook went down again, I said that Oklahoma City was playing the best in the West. Can they re-blend their talent and their minds, Russell and KD? I think so. I don't know that for sure. But I also want to point out the rest of that team is really good. Serge Ibaka is really good. He had a couple of big blocks in the fourth quarter. Kendrick Perkins last night got big up game. into LaMarcus Aldridge in the fourth quarter and just took him out of the game. Now, maybe he wore out because of the fourth game on the road in I five I think nights. so. He was one of eight shooting. That's one not of eight. La that's not LaMarcus quarter. Aldridge. Because the, the previous fatigued. Friday night, I regrettably watched them at the Spurs, and LaMarcus Aldridge just torched San Antonio along with Damian Lillard and Wes Matthews. They all just torched San Antonio. Yeah. Which brings me to my Spurs. Right now, they still have the best record in the West. And right now, I consider them about the fourth best team in the West. You know why? They haven't yet had, and I'm just being honest with you here, they haven't yet had one impressive win the entire basketball season. Not one time have I sat back and said, oh, there's last year's Spurs. Not one time. They have lost to the Pacers in San Antonio. They've lost twice to Oklahoma City. They play again tonight on ESPN in San Antonio. They've now lost twice to Portland, and Portland owns them. They have lost twice to Houston, and they beat the Clippers one out of two times without Chris Paul. Well, come on. Am, am I going to read into that? Tiago Splitter that night outplayed Blake Griffin, and Tiago immediately went down and out for God knows a couple of months. Danny Green is out. Tony Parker might not be able to play tonight with a badly bruised shin. 
they're a mess right now. And I attribute some of it to the fact that they came to training camp and Coach Popovich, and I, I liked it at the moment, said, we got to get back and right the wrong that was game six. But you know and I know how long this season is. And for a, a, a team with three aging veterans, there are a lot of young players on the team, but those three aging veterans, I'm sure from night to night, say, wait a minute, we, we got to play all these games just to get back to game six of the finals? And it's, are we there yet? And no, they're not there yet. And I haven't seen one flash of greatness from this team yet. So I back off. I, I got to wait well, and see. We still got a long ways to go. Got to wait and see. But at the same time, you have to show deference and respect where it's due. These are the San Antonio Spurs. They've been there and done that um, numerous times over the years. They have four rings to show for it. They're a consistent championship threat. And the reality is, is that this is January. It's simply not that important for mm -hmm. a team this accomplished. I don't get caught up in that. I look, I, I don't mind holding the Clippers accountable because they haven't been there yet. As Doc Rivers has said, as yep. Chris Paul has acknowledged to me personally, they've got a lot to prove. But I'm proud of Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin is a starter on the All-Star team as far as I'm concerned. He is deserving of the credit that he's gotten. He got took a lot of hits in the offseason. Guys were telling me a lot of stuff about him being soft and Sure. Stuff like that. This man has debunked all of that. He has gone out there and he has flat out balled this year. And Blake Griffin deserves a lot of credit. So would you rank them second in the West? I think I I, I would say with, with would, CP3. I would say to you, yes. I would say to you right now, I would. Because remember, the Clippers were my pick to go to the finals uh, preseason yep. wise. But I, I, one of the things that stands out in my mind, Skip, I remember when San Antonio was making that run. And you had predicted not last year, but the mm -hmm. year before they were going to the finals or whatever. And I was Oklahoma City. You were San Antonio. Got San Antonio two, was two up 2-0, oh. Oh, oh. and I was like, oh, my Lord, they got me because San Antonio looks awesome. Remember, they hadn't lost a right. playoff game yet. Hadn't lost a playoff game, and then KD and Russell Westbrook said— And James uh, Harden. And James Harden was like, enough of this. Yeah, they did. Let's put this. And San Antonio, the schemes were right, the bodies were there, and there was simply nothing they could do with these boys. And that's what I'm seeing from Kevin Durant right mm -hmm. now. I did not see one Portland defender that wasn't in his face. I saw a bunch of guys that literally were looking at the coach and was like, what do you want me to yeah. do? There's nothing we can do with this guy. And that's what Russell Westbrook yep. is capable of doing to you too. The combination of them, those two doing that, I don't know if there's an answer in the West to stop them when they're on that run. Uh, Las Vegas agrees with you, Stephen A. They say that uh, this OKC has the best chances of representing the West in the finals. So therefore, book your ticket. Coming up.